Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And uh, I decided to include this video in the American Minuteman series because I think I have found uh, what is the best pack for the American Minuteman, and that is the Yote style pack. So let's talk about that. I've had this Yote pack now, and I've been running it for, I don't know, six, eight, ten months, something like that. And I am a big fan of the Yote pack, and there are a couple reasons why. Uh, the first off is it is has an extremely low profile. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that from here. Maybe I can roll some B footage in of me wearing it. But it is an extremely low profile pack, and it has a very uh, good, unique, powerful ability to cinch up. It has these six attachment points right here and here, and then on the, there's two on the bottom here. So there's three on this side and then three on the other side so that you can really shrink this pack down and make it an extremely low profile pack. Alternatively, if you need to, for whatever reason, you can open these all up and you can utilize this beaver tail function right here. And that can expand out quite a bit as you can see there. Uh, and you can fit a whole helmet in here, uh, I was at a One Shepherd course and all of a sudden I became the radio guy. So I'm like, shit, what am I gonna do with this radio? Well, I just stuffed the radio in here and cinched it down and it worked like a dream. So I really like having this versatility in the pack of being able to stuff random things in there that you need to carry. Uh, I was out with a guy who had his yoke pack on and we had to go collect a steel target like a couple hundred yards out. And when we got out there, I said, hey, you can probably just fit that steel target in your yoke pack. And he set his yoke pack down, he stuffed his steel target in here, cinched it up, boom. Now he can carry it on his backpack and not have to carry it in his hands the whole time, right? So it's a great feature to have to be able to, again, have that expandable capacity to be able to add things in and out. Or if you want to carry your helmet, uh, right now I keep my nods down here, right? And I've just uh, tied a knife in here. But this is one of the best features of this pack, that it can cinch down super tight when you don't need it, and it can expand when you do need it. And that is the, the main reason I think this pack is so great. Uh, the other thing that it has here is just this external pocket here. This is decently big. I have some just some wipes in here right now. But you can fit a variety of different items in this pouch here uh, that you would you know, need quicker access to. I will say uh, on the Spitfire version by Crossfire, as far as I know, they mollied this. And I think that's a better use of the space, honestly, than this just daisy chain webbing. But, you know, I got this one on eBay at a deal, so that's great. Uh, this is just a very small little pocket here. Um, just to give you an idea, right now I have a little uh, camo compact makeup thing in there and uh, a little short stubby antenna for my radio. So that's a nice small pocket there. And then here, again, same thing. This is a nice small pocket. I can, use, I can fit just about my hand in it but that's right here in the back. That's a zippered pocket. Usually I will carry my red headlamp in there, but it's out for a different purpose right now. When it comes to the sides, the sides are actually really cool. Uh, so you do have this external pouch right here, which right now I have some uh, boo-boo kit, a little tool kit for my multi-tool with different bits so that I can repair stuff in the field and loop. Uh, this behind it, I guess I'll talk about that first. Behind it here, you do have a pouch where you can slip a mag in and out, and those are great pouches. I like to utilize those a lot. This one, you could also fit a magazine in. You could fit two magazines in there, I believe. Let's double check that. Yeah, you can easily fit two magazines in there. So if you really want, again, this pack's pretty versatile, right? You could carry an additional six magazines on the external of the pack, no problem, which is a nice feature to have. I just like to point out two here on the bottom. It does have uh, some lash points and a grommet. So you could, you know, I've never done this, but you could lash in like a bedroll down here or, you know, a blanket or uh, your poncho or a variety of different things, right? So it's nice to be able to have that option. It's a very versatile pack and I think that's what continues to make it a winner. On the other side of the pack, it's the exact same. Uh, where you get again, you have that slip pocket. These actually stay retained very well because it sits in there so deep. I've run around, done a lot of different things, never lost a magazine, honestly not that worried about it. Uh, super, super great there. This pack can also, again, continue the versatility, it can be mollied in, right? So if you wanted to just take these uh, shoulder straps off, which these are aftermarket shoulder straps um, that I got, I bought this one off eBay, but uh, 
you can just molly this directly into a plate carrier, right? Or whatever else you want to molly it into and just have it ride there. So that's cool. There is a stiffener in here. Um, so it gives it a little bit of rigidity, not a ton, right? It's not a framed pack. Right now I have about 15 pounds in here last time I weighed it, but it does allow you to have some rigidity to it. So that's nice. Uh, oh, one bad thing I will say is at least in my version, it did not come with a top handle. I had to uh, create my own uh, top handle here out of paracord that I just connected to the daisy chain, but that's a pretty big miss. Uh, any, every pack should have a, have a handle up here. I don't know what that was about. Again, I think there are other versions that probably have that up here. In the main compartment, the main compartment is pretty small, honestly. I mean, right now I have some paracord down there. Sometimes I'll have an MRE down here, but this pocket down here actually gets, it gets pretty small, especially when you start loading stuff into the beaver tail. So usually the only, about the only thing that rides in here is just three liters of water. I think that's, again, one of the great pluses of this pack is that you can carry a full three liters of water in a really tiny pack with a couple other key accessories. Because the pack itself limits you, you don't get stupid and overload yourself. Um, you get to keep it real slim, real tight. And again, three liters of water, that's gonna get most of us through a day unless it's like super hot and or we're doing a super amount of work. So big fan of the carry capacity as far as water goes. And that just routes through just like every other, um, you know, uh, pack that carries water, right? Where there's a hole right here, right through here. I'll show you that right there so that I can route my hose through and then down onto my shoulder strap. If you're at all on the fence about the Yote Pack, I would highly recommend it. I know there are some like cheaper versions out there, right? Like I think maybe it's Red Rock makes one for like 30, 40 bucks. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it below. Uh, but then there are the more expensive, legitimate, you know, ones uh, from Eagle Industries. Uh, T-Rex Arms makes one I know. Uh, again, the uh, Crossfire Packs makes a version. So I, if you're at all on the fence about it, I would highly recommend looking into the Yote Pack, uh, the Yote Style Pack. I think it's a huge advantage for the Minuteman because it carries just enough that you need without overburdening you, and I think that's a big advantage. I hope that's helpful. I hope it gives you some thoughts. Do brave deeds and endure. <laughs>